What is up, everybody? It's your boy Ace checking back in with the first video. It is currently 6.06. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. It is currently 6.06 .06 in the morning. Uh, Playboy had, I guess we can call it a little bit of an emergency. He's getting ready for bag talk show tomorrow. Um, and he has to get the box Chevy ready. And I saw his story. I think they just finished putting it back together this morning night this morning i saw a snapchat like at five in the morning that they were putting it back together so i know he's definitely been up i know it's definitely an emergency for him if he's been up all night so we're gonna go ahead and get my boy right we don't open the shop until 8 a.m so i am going to meet him two hours early um which is not a problem at all meet him up get the box chevy in i know he has a few more things to do so let him go take care of business meanwhile we take care of the box chevy and we'll see what this week brings us so like i said it's your boy ace checking back in fresh video and let's go see what playboy got us uh got us doing today <laughs> see how dirty it came in now it's time to get to work <laughs> all right before i start putting the works on this because i'm real bad with getting the before and after just look at this this guy said fuck it it's going to ace they got it from here <laughs> god damn <laughs> oh fuck they're definitely bogus for this one but what can we do man this is what we do we're the cleanup crew that's what we do. We come back and clean it up. Look at this. I'm glad the car's this dirty, though, because every time this car's came a couple times and I did not record it both times for whatever the situation was, being busy, being having too much going on. What, oh, my God. Having too much going on, whatever the case was. But I'm glad it's dirty. I'm glad we got a little bit of time and I'm actually focused on recording this and getting you guys some footage because, God damn, we got some work to do. The inside's not horrible. I mean, it's just kind of dust everywhere. You guys see all this dust everywhere. It's going to be a definitely, definitely a good wipe down. Get all this damn compound off because these guys straight up said, fuck it, it's going to ace. <laughs> but it's cool. Like I said, that's what we do. Clean up crew. Time to come back, clean this up. Playboy is not officially done putting it back together. I know he's still going to pick it up tonight, put it back together. He's going to be at the show bright and early in the morning. And I can tell he's definitely tired today. You ne never look this tired, bro. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, there you go. Shatan showing. Oh, yeah, I need these. Shatan showing. Go, that's next month, right? That's next month already. Yep. No, July, two months. Two months, yeah. Some Shatan showing. Go, this is Playboy Show. Make sure you guys, uh, if you guys don't have nothing to do with that day or if you haven't made plans for that day already, Make your plan. Saturday, July 20, one of, if not the biggest car show in Chicago. I was just showing them how bad this thing was. So it's about that time. Now it's time to get to work, get Playboy ready, and get him out of here. All right, well, let me start by telling you guys I am tired. <laughs> you guys see I started recording. I told you guys it was 6 in the morning. It is just about to crack 6 p.m. Finishing up this last final wash. Got this box Chevy that we finished the uh, paint correction on. I didn't even get a chance to record that for you guys. As you guys can see, we're super busy. And we've been super busy all day. Pa's been knocking out the washes. Meanwhile, I got Playboy's car situated. Um, so we did pretty much everything. Right now, all I got to do is a quick little spray wax on the whole car. Just kind of go over everything. But that's pretty much it. The only reason I don't have tire shine is because Playboy's going to be driving this bad boy all the way back. As you guys know, I don't know if anybody knows Playboy or if you follow Playboy, but he definitely drives his cars. 
So we got everything pretty much all situated. Got the wheels cleaned up, went as far as cleaning up the frame. The frame had a bunch of grease and stuff already. Uh, so we got the full frame cleaned up. Uh, I still gotta go over his little calipers. They're a little dusty now from all the going over everything else. But I got all the compound knocked off, got his windows cleaned up. Ended up doing a full blown interior detail. Oh, this door is locked. Ended up doing a full blown interior detail um, because it definitely needed it. I mean, it was filthy. There was a bunch of compound and all the door jams. There was just way too much going on. So now we got everything nice and situated. The stitching, you couldn't even tell it was a baby blue anymore. It was just kind of dirty, dusty. We had to hit everything. I got his door panels all nice and cleaned up. You guys see the show and go on there. Got his door panels cleaned up. Got the stitching cleaned up on there. Pretty much everything on the inside, carpet seats, plastics, everything, the whole center console, everything got touched up. So got Playboy nice and situated. This thing got me tired. Tired, tired, tired. I'm gonna open the trunk for you guys so I can show you guys um, how that trunk came out. If I can find the keys. You know I had the keys somewhere. Oh, they're in the ignition. And this door's locked too. Why do those two front doors do that? All right. Let's show you guys the trunk. As you guys can see, we got everything, everything all situated. Nice and clean. Love this car was filthy. Horrible, horrible, horrible when it came in. But we got everything cleaned up. These billet uh, hinges were bad they had white all over them if you see right here this is not white that's from chipping that's not from us somebody chipped it right there uh but there was compound all inside of these they were horrible everything was just completely filthy and uh i'm pretty sure i showed you guys when it got here with the trunk open i don't remember what exactly i recorded i know i put it up on my story for instagram and stuff so maybe i might have showed you guys the trunk and everything but maybe i didn't but now we definitely got some time and we definitely got everything nice and cleaned up and we definitely gotta show you guys how everything cleaned up. So there was a bunch of compound. There was filthy. There was compound. Mary compound all along the whole crack. Compound every single crack you can think of. There was compound everywhere. So now she looks a lot better. I believe Playboy's gonna be coming tonight. Putting that uh, back clip on. Putting the front grill on. And then like I said, he's gonna be driving this bad boy home. So yeah, we got everything, everything nice and cleaned up, frame cleaned up, interior, wheels, engine bay, all the nicks and knacks, all the cracks, everything, everything. We got down on pretty much everything. All this is white, but that's all like primer or whatever. Obviously the grill's gonna go right there and just cover that right up. So she's ready, ready for the show tomorrow. This is one, that's two, and that's number three. Those are all going to the show tomorrow. Matter of fact, right now that we're here, we might as well go ahead and show you guys because we've been so damn busy all day and I haven't got a chance to show you guys. We never even got to show you guys the black box Chevy. This one, I never showed you guys when it came in and I definitely didn't get a chance to show you guys right now when it's leaving. So before it takes off, we got to show you guys the black LS. I never see nobody do that with the grill. The black on the middle and then the chrome out. I like that. My boy definitely did his thing on this car. Got everything put together. This is gonna be another one that's going to the show. And like I said, before he took off, I definitely did not want to miss this car because this thing right here is nasty. You guys see that paint? That sun don't lie. If your detailer don't show you the car in the sun, then there is issues right there, my boy. I'm trying not to get hit by a car over here, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on this one, but you guys see that paint? Look at that paint. Got him nice and cleaned up. Oh, I'm really trying not to get whacked by a car over here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I got you guys this one, got you guys Playboy's car, and we'll get you guys Playboy's car once it's leaving. Black box Chevy and Playboy's car going completely out the door. Catch these bad boys at the next couple shows. Let's show y'all what a little Saturday looks like here at Ace Mobile Wash. I've been wanting to do this. I've been slacking. Y'all already know I've been slacking, but let's show you see Moy over here all the damn time. Moy over here, Pop's doing a quick little hand wax nice and early. We opened up at 8 a.m. Uh, started doing washes like 20 minutes before we opened up because people were waiting and cars gotta be clean. Today is officially Saturday. Bag talk show is today, so I know a lot of people are gonna be getting ready for today. 
and then obviously we got other people getting ready for the Rick Ross car show so stay tuned and let's see what comes in today I'm gonna try to show you guys everything hopefully it doesn't get too hectic but I'm gonna definitely try to show you guys everything And that's one, and another one about to go, and that's another one going out the door. Morning, Carlo says with that big lip, Ooh. fresh wash and wax, quick interior wipe down. Check this out, y'all see the nice interior, right? And then, boom, the matching baby seat. <laughs> Real nasty T-top, true Monte Carlo SS with the big wheel woods on there. Nice paint, nice suspension. You can tell he needs a little bit of wet sand work, but it's only a matter of coming to Ace. But yeah, I gotta get this one quick because we got a Jeep SRT that we're working on and then we got customers waiting outside. So let me get this out of here. is gonna be short but we got people coming coming and going and unfortunately i think i said it in one of the clips hopefully i don't get too busy i definitely got too busy it is already three o'clock we're damn near by closing time and it is time to get up out of here so we're fin finalizing this trx quick little wash we did a good solid 10 15 cars today Got everything nice and cleaned up. And like I said, I, we just got way too busy. Got crazy, we were nonstop all day. Before we even opened at 8 a.m., we already had three cars waiting outside, so. That's that. Tried to show you guys a little bit of how crazy Saturday looks, but unfortunately, <laughs> I already knew it was kinda gonna happen. We got way too busy. But oh well, there's always gonna be more Saturdays to show you guys more stuff. <laughs>